Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Max and thank you so much for stopping by. I super duper appreciate it. And today, I'm so excited. I have a Sephora haul and I feel like Sephora hauls are the best. Like, I love getting the makeup, I love hauling the makeup, I love trying everything on my face and it's just, it's just such a good day when your makeup comes in the mail. I'm not even kidding. So... Um, I'm actually going to talk about uh, two things on my face that I did not haul, but just in case you're wondering, I am wearing this Victoria's Secret Lip Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Bear, and I really do like uh, Victoria's Secret formula, surprisingly. I didn't think that I would, because they're just, you know, like a bra and underwear brand, but they, surprisingly, Lennox. They surprisingly have good lip products. They were all sleeping. They were all being sweet and cuddly and nice. I press record and it's, I'm going to get into this. I'm going to make noise every time. I swear. Drives me nuts. That's what I brought my spray bottle for. Because my cat is getting on the table and he's not supposed to be. And then the dogs are all upset about it. Okay. Anyways, the next thing I'm wearing on my eyes, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's just a sparkly shade, two sparkly shades actually from this uh, Kylie Jenner um, something storm, it doesn't say on here, but it's like the storm palette or something. I am not going to lie, I freaking hate this palette. I spent, I want to say like $40 on this palette and maybe even shipping and they do not take returns. So I bought this thinking it was going to be amazing. I loved the shades and everything, like really pretty pastels and shimmers and all that stuff. The mattes, you can't get any pigment out of them. They blend away they drive me insane it's the most difficult palette to work with and then the shimmer shades like today i applied these with my finger they get all over your face like not even just a little bit on your face all over your face all over your eyelashes there's no easy way to apply them and then you try and wipe it away and it's i swear it makes it so much worse i was sitting there like scrubbing my face trying to get all these sparkles off so if i turn a certain way and you see like a random sparkle somewhere it's from my eyeshadow but since i wasn't able to return this i do never reach for it but i did spend money on it and the cheap soul that i have in my heart is like don't waste it no like you Spent $40 on a palette that just sits in your drawer. Don't waste it. So, um, needless to say, the mattes don't work. The shimmers, they're messy. But if you apply them over a concealer on your eyes, they actually look really sparkly and pretty. So, I found a plus in the mess of not plus to this eyeshadow palette. And I'm also sorry my hair is freaking crazy today and it's ugly and faded and turning like some weird brown gray color at the end but hopefully I will be touching that up soon I have to go to the hair store but anyways let's get into this haul because that's the exciting part about this video most of this stuff I do have on my face I am actually going to first talk about these two samples I picked up um, when I was at the mall the other day, I wanted to try these things out because I've been hearing good things about them. Um, the first thing, actually we'll talk about this first. Uh, this is the Cover FX Gripping Primer and I keep hearing about this in people's videos, especially uh, Kathleen Lights. You guys know I'm obsessed with her and she, whatever she recommends is usually like amazing for me. But, <laughs> alright, this is weird. It's like putting lip gloss on your face, which I knew everyone's been saying. Something like that, and that it's really thick and weird. But they all said that they have loved it. This, um, I put a lot of concealer on it, so you can barely see it right now. 
but this gave me a massive painful zit on my face and I want to say this is this because I tried other stuff that I was wearing that day and nothing else has done that to my face but literally like the night of my sw my chin was like swollen around this area and by the next morning when I woke up I had a massive zit on my face and I was like oh go away it was so big and so ugly and it looked like I had a planet on my face and it was just really upsetting like teenager skin all over again but um also what I picked up with it is the NARS Sheer Glow uh, Foundation in Oslo, I think it's called. And at first, I really didn't like this, but I wore it with this. And it did not like the way that it sat on top of it. My pores looked like really big and like obvious, and I just was not feeling it. And this says that it's supposed to be Sheer Glow. And my face didn't look sheer. It was like a lot of coverage. And I don't know if it's just because the primer is so, like the makeup clings to it so good. But I did, I'm actually wearing this today. I've tried it with my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. And I like it much better. My pores don't look huge. Um, it is more of a sheer coverage. I have learned to not dip my sponge in it and totally just go crazy because I thought since it was supposed to be sheer that it wouldn't be like I can just go and put it on and I didn't have to worry about it but a little goes a very long way I don't I'm not a full coverage person so I didn't want anything that was crazy <laughs> oh my gosh that was random but um yeah, so I do think that I like this. I don't know if I love it to the point where I'm going to spend NARS prices on it, but it is decent, and if I got a sample of it in the future or gifted by someone or whatever the case may be, I, I, I don't hate it. It's a decent product, but for NARS prices, I'm not going to spend money on decent. And this, I have to try again. <laughs> But I'm too scared because it was a really bad, painful breakout on my face. And I'm pretty positive this is what caused it. And I'm really scared. So, I don't know. I should try it again, though, to see how it goes. And maybe that they just mixed really bad together. I did not try it with another face product yet. So, I don't know. I'm scared. But, yeah. So, that was that. We're going to move on. Um, the next thing that I got, I got a whole box of goodies. Billy gave me some money for my birthday for makeup, so I, like, got super excited. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, so if I did, sorry, I just repeated it. But let's talk about two face masks I picked up. I've never tried these before, so I'm really excited. Origins makes face masks now. I don't know if they always have or if this is a new thing, but I've never seen them. And this is the Flower Fusion Lavender Soothing Sheet Mask. And um, this just sounded really nice for your face. And I was going to see if there was any benefits on here. Lavender Infused Sheet, sheet Mask that soothes leaving skin de-stressed while serene relaxing scent of lavender creates an oasis of calm. I feel like this would be really nice to do before you went to bed. Just like a relaxing night with a cup of tea or whatever you're into. Um, and yeah, then just calling it a night. So I am really excited to give this a go. I tried um, a Laneige one and I really didn't like it. It made my face super greasy and I was just like, ugh, I wasn't having it. I hate when my face feels greasy. It drives me crazy. But I also got this one, which I really do enjoy Dr. Jart. Basically all his products that I've tried, I have not had a bad experience with, except for one sheet mask I hated. But that was like one time, and I don't even know if it was a fluke or if it's something else I did or what. But 
normally his sheet masks, I want to say his, um, it comes in like a baby blue packaging. Oh, the one I didn't like was the rubber one that you mix together that looks like a little, like, coffee cup. It's like a shake shot with the creepy baby face on it. I hated that. I hated it so much. But his actual sheet masks, I love. Um, it's like, comes in like a baby blue packaging. It's like water or something. And then there's the, the black mask. God, I can't remember these names. That's so bad. I should really know because I buy them all the time. They're like six bucks and I love the way they make my, skate, my skin feel and look. So I picked them up, but I have not tried this one. This one's the poor, yeah, poor acting. <laughs> I thought I was reading perfecting wrong and I was like, God, you can't talk today, but it does say poor acting. <laughs> uh, solution, bubbling charcoal sheet mask, which minify... See, now I said something wrong. It minimizes and purifies pores. Whenever my camera's on and I have to read something, I butcher everything. I can't talk. I feel like I'm talking way too fast and I run out of breath and I'm like, chill, take a breather. You do this all the time. You've been doing it for over a year. Enunciate your words and chill your crap. All right, so that's what this does. I hate my pores, and I definitely want my face purified, um, and it used, you leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes, so I'm really excited to try this, <laughs> long story short. Okay, well, let's move on. The next thing um, I have not tried yet, it is the Knockout Tingling Treatment by Tarte Skincare. I want to say I've heard somebody say good stuff about this when it first came out, but I haven't had a chance to try it, and I don't remember if that was the case or if it was something I made up in my head. But um, it's supposed to exfoliate, balance, and minimize appearance of pores. Got a lot of pore minimizing going on here, but um, I was just intrigued by it, and I wanted to try something new. I don't smell anything, but it has 10% um, acid complex, powerful pH rebalancing blend of salicylic and lactic acids to help renew and resurface the appearance of skin. And it says that it can cause bad sunburn, so avoid sun when using this product, which is great for me being so pale and being burnt in the winter time. Like, I'm, I get sunburned so bad, so that's lovely but um yeah I just want to try it see how it goes it says that you're supposed to start at your decollete go for to your neck and go up which I thought was really weird I just kind of wanted to take it um and dab it on my face with like a cotton ball or something but I guess I will try and follow the directions like a good girl and not just wing it which I do a lot but it does say, like, the burn, love to return. If this burns, honestly, I might return it. Because I don't think I can handle anything burning my face. So, and I'm so sensitive that I'm nervous. But I really do want to try it. Because if it's good, and if it does what it says, then it'll be okay. But I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. Next thing, what do we want to talk about? Oh, I'm really excited about this. This is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. Wow, that's that's the longest name ever. But this smells minty and like eucalyptus -y. And that's what it looks like. Oh my god, I love the smell of mint. I know a lot of people don't. But I'm a mint fanatic. I love eating mints. I love peppermint tea. I love mint smells. I love being in the shower and anything minty just feels like it awakens you. And it's so good. I'm just, I'm a mint freak. But, and minty lips. Oh, I love minty lips. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited to try this. I've heard good things uh, watching YouTube videos about it. So I get the little tiny one, which I thought was going to be a little bit bigger, but it's cute and small. Um, and it's just supposed to like really uh, exfoliate the scalp and I'm really excited to try it. It sounds soothing and good and yeah. 
I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> but I also spent my points on an hourglass uh, mascara. Couldn't think of the word. And if you guys have been around my channel, you know it's one of my favorites. It was just in my current favorites video. And I really like it, so I wanted to have a backup. The next thing I got, I'm wearing on my lashes today. This is the Marc Jacobs Mascara. Uh, what's this actually called? Velvet Noir. Um, I really loved this packaging online. It looked like it was like a white bottle with black zebra, white and black zebra stripes, but it's actually silver, which was really weird when I got it. And this thing is huge. Like, I don't know if this helps, like by my eyebrows or something, but this is huge. I was not expecting this. I've only ever had this mascara in um, miniature sizes and sample sizes, and I absolutely love it. It's one of the best mascaras around, and um, I just wasn't expecting this humongous package, but it's really good, and I do highly recommend it, and I really just wanted the fancy packaging because I'm crazy. I wanted to buy the brand new um primer for your lashes that they have i think it's velvet noir eye primer i want to say um but they've been sold out every single day i've been trying to buy it and every day it's sold out so i might have missed out on that but i don't think it's limited edition so it should be coming back into stock hopefully but we'll see let's stick with the mascara train i picked up another sample of the pretty vulgar uh, Full Reels Mascara because I loved it so much when I tried it the other day that I obviously spent the $25 so I was like, sorry my cat's in my box. Um, I obviously spent the money so I was like, why not get another one and have a backup of your other one. So yeah, that's what I did there. And next I picked up this Beach Walk um, I think it's Mason Margiela Replica Perfume. Hopefully I did not butcher that. But this is in the scent Beach Walk. And I'm obsessed. I love this scent so much. It reminds me of being in Florida. Like, before my grandpa passed away, he lived in Florida. And I don't know why, but every time I smell this, it brings me back there and it's just so like a nostalgic kind of smell and it's almost like a I don't know like sunblock and sand and like it just brings me straight to Florida every time I smell it so I had to pick this up when I saw that they because these perfumes are so expensive Oh my gosh, it's like a hundred and something dollars for like a full size of this. But they had these little travel sprays for 28 bucks. And I tried a mini sample from Sephora before. So that's how I knew that I liked it. But I had to pick that up once I saw that they came out with the small versions. I also am obsessed with their flower market one. Oh, that smells so good. Like they make really good smelling perfumes for sure. Okay. My next two things are by Benefit, and they're minis, and they're so cute. But I'm wearing them both today. We'll start with the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Blush. This is really pretty. I have it on today. Hopefully you can see it. If anything, you can probably see my shiny nose. But it's really pretty, and it kind of makes your skin look like that wet kind of um sheen look to it it's not like intensely glittery or anything like that it's more of a sheen and the little tiny brush and everything it's so perfect for getting your cheekbone and it's so cute but this is the color and y'all know if you've been around my channel that i'm obsessed with the dandelion blush so I just saw this on there and it was a little mini and it was dandelion twinkles. So I was like, okay, I got to try that. And I think it was $16. So it wasn't terrible. And I have not even dented my dandelion blush for how much I use that because a little goes so long. And 
I was like, the mini will be perfect because I have the full size of the dandelion and I have not even dented it. And I use that all the time. So, yeah. This is the California blush. And I do have this on today. And when I put it on, I felt like, you know, those times where you're wearing sunglasses outside and you're totally get burnt on your face. And then you take off your sunglasses and your eyes are just like all white, like where you were wearing glasses and your face is super red. <laughs> That's what I felt like. And I'm, I've never owned a blush this vibrant and like crazy. But I have to say I'm obsessed with the color. Like... Even though it looks crazy on me and I'm not used to it, this color is so fun and so pretty. And I went in with like the lightest hand ever on my cheeks today and it was still so vibrant. And I'm going to kill my cat. He's getting into the um, water uh, bag of water. So yeah, sorry. He's really loud. Um, but yeah, I used the lightest touch on my hand and it still was so vibrant, but I don't know. You guys let me know. Do I look like a freak? I think my lights are even making it look a little more dull because it's really brightening my face because I have this bright as light in front of my face. But I think my cheeks do look like they're burned. But at the same time, I really love this color. So let me know if you think that it looks horrible or if you think that it, it looks okay and I can get away with it. Because just the shade in general, I'm obsessed with. So you gotta let me know. I don't know. It's really pretty. And this is a mini too. So let me know if I'm like, you're, or if you're like, you're a freak. Don't wear that out in public. I need to know. Okay, this product I got with a $25 purchase. And this is the new Urban Decay Brow Endowed um, Primer and Color situation that they are coming out or came out with. I think they're already out. Um, this is the primer side. And these are so tiny. I wonder if this is the real size brush. Like, is this the sample size brush or the real? Because I like that it's tiny, but I don't know if it is uh, actual size or not. And then this is the colored side. It is in the shade taupe. Um, okay. Is the product bad? No. Do you, if you have eyebrows like me, I have like a legit bald spots in my eyebrows. So the other day I tried to wear this just putting the primer on and then just putting the color on if i don't fill my brows in with a pencil they look so wonky and ridiculous i looked hilarious because this legit only picks up on your hairs like it wasn't getting on my skin or anything it was just clinging to the hairs on my brows and anywhere that there was like a bald spot or a sparse area it showed and it was so funky looking. So today I filled my eyebrows in with my e.l.f. Um, taupe eyebrow pencil and then I put the primer on and then I put the color on and I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose of this product or it's just like another step to my eyebrows that I really just don't feel like doing. My eyebrows are so tedious and I hate doing them so much. So I just was like... I don't know if I would actually purchase the full size of this um, because of that, but I don't think it's a bad product. If you watch um, Messy Jessie, she used this and her eyebrows looked incredible and that's why I wanted to try it so bad, but she has really full, beautiful eyebrows and my eyebrows are blonde and patchy and ugly and I'm terrible at doing them to begin with. So, I don't know if this product is specifically for me or not. Okay, we still have a couple more things. I'm already at 24 minutes. I feel like I've been talking forever. I ramble and ramble and ramble. So, I'm just going to get these, these little thingies out of the way that I got. Um, 
This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish or Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in 2 Medium. They were out of the light and this was a purchase with our freebie with $25 purchase too. So, um... I got the medium and I was so scared because they were out of the light and I was like, oh man, that's going to be so dark on me, but I've never tried Charlotte Tilbury before, so I was like really intrigued by it, but this is the medium. Like, it is so light and I was so shocked that I used this and it looked fine. Like, I was like, I thought it was going to be all dark and crazy, but it was fine. Um, I just put it on with a setting brush or a powder brush, whatever you want to call it, and um, it blurred my pores a little bit, so that was nice, but it was nothing like, I need that, I have to, like, this brand is so expensive that I would have to be extremely obsessed with something to buy anything from them, and I was thinking that this product was going to be like, amazing because it was Charlotte Tilbury and they are like the priciest brand but it was nothing to be like holy crap about and it was just okay it did do a nice little blurring effect on my face but that was about it so that's that I picked this up with 100 points I believe and this was the water drench hyaluronic cloud cream hydrating moisturizer oh my gosh by Peter Thomas Roth and I've never tried it before and I've also never tried the Origins Hello Calm Relaxing Hydrating Face Mask with Cannabis Sativa Oil, Seed Oil. Um, so I'm excited to give these two a go. And then the last thing I bought is this bad boy which I, the only thing about this is I really wish it had a pump. Because this is going to get really annoying. But it does come in this really fancy glass bottle. And it's like crazy. But this is in the shade CN20 Fair. And this is the Clinique Super Balanced Makeup Foundation thing. And um, I tried a sample of this. But it's been so long. Like I think over a year since I tried that sample. But I remember being obsessed with it that I tried to squeeze every little bit out of it that I could. So I really wanted to try it again. And I remember the sample being a little bit too dark for me. So I went with the fair one. And I really want to give it a go. I'm going to, like, um, ever since I got engaged, I've been just trying to think of what products I'm going to want to test out to see if I want to wear on my face on my wedding day. So this is one of the things that I was thinking about. So I really want to give it a go and see if I like it again. But let me know if you guys have tried this and you're obsessed with it or you hate it. Let me know. But that's my last thing. I feel like I've been talking for so long. I need water. I need to hydrate. But yeah, that was it. I did pick up... I bought this yesterday online. The Riviera palette from ABH. I had to. I am officially an ABH fangirl. I feel like I have to have all their palettes now. I still got to pick up the Sock Glam palette. Um, I've become obsessed. I never thought I was going to be one of those people. But I'm one of those people. And it makes me really sad. But also really happy. Because I want to have them all. I just would like to collect them and have them and play with them and love them forever. Is that, is that okay? <laughs> like, alright. Um, but I did pick it up and the colors look so amazing. It's probably not for everybody, but since I'm such a bright and vibrant person, I'm like, give me all the colors, give me all the sparkles. I want it so bad. So that should be coming in the mail within the next two days. It hasn't shipped yet. I just bought it last night, so it should be here soon and I cannot wait but yeah I need to stop talking we're going on 30 minutes here so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give me a thumbs up so I know to do more and I really appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one bye